Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So having a look uh, now at Axie Sushi. So Axie Sushi is a game where you use your axes from Axie Infinity. So one of the nice things about blockchain games is someone can make a game with different uh, characters, different uh, NFTs, uh, non-fungible tokens, uh, blockchain uh, backed uh, characters, assets, uh, and then someone else can make a game using those assets uh, with or without permission of the original developer. Um, so we saw that a lot with Crypto Kitties. You know, first Crypto Kitties came along, and then Crypto uh, Kitty Hats, and then a whole bunch of other ones in development. Um, this is the first one I've seen for Axie Infinity, uh, although there may be other ones. Um, as these games tend to be, they are pretty lightweight, they are almost like mini games. Um, Axie Sushi is a racing game where you put in one of your axes and it has to eat a line of sushi, different types of sushi. We can see here his devil bear and he's got all this, or he or she's got all this sushi to eat. And uh, as far as I understand it, the different attributes of devil bear mean it eats different bits of sushi at a different speed. Um, so I can join the race. I will have to choose one of my axes. So I've got some axes. Um, you can see here, so using MetaMask. Um, as the ID and wallet system, so I could choose. Um, let's choose this one here. Um, there we go. So now, so join the race, join the game. Okay. So here we go, and the race now starts. Let me see here. It's just. Uh, I mean, I, there's no gameplay. <laughs> it's just a kind of meta game type thing. So we can see here the the two axes are eating away. Uh, and go at different speeds, and um, you know, it's not particularly exciting, you don't win anything as far as I um, understand. Oh, we went fast there because we got a critical. So, in a sense, it's taking the battle mechanics, the battle stats that you have in your axes, and applying them to battling, eating bits of sushi. Now, am I going to win this easily? It looks like I've got a difficult uh, bit of sushi to eat there. Oh, no, it's not, it was, a, it was actually a plant behind it. Um, oh, so there we go. So, I won. Hey, um, I think that's about it. <laughs> Oh, look at details. Um, so, uh, so that's the critical. I had four critical, four critical bites and two speed buffs. So we can see the time it took me. That's all fine. Um, next game can start again. We can actually see um, up here. So here's the leaderboard. We can see Sumo XXL has played one thousand two hundred and um, sixty-eight uh, games. I don't know what, how the first place ranking comes from the presumably those are games he's won or he he or she has won um i can go up here and i think i can change my nickname um I don't know what settings are of oh, volume yeah um uh here we go um so a bit about it uh, competitive mini game um maximum five axes per game rules races will start immediately when all play when all places are taken or after three minutes if there are a minimum of two so you can see there's not a lot of volume going through this um Anyone without, if you, even if you don't have an Axie, you can log in um, through guest mode and pick a list of free to play ones. Uh, and there will be three modes off chain or free to play, and two on chain modes with play for ETH, obviously the uh, cryptocurrency, and Luna, which is the um, internal cryptocurrency for a uh, Axie Infinity. Um, currently, we're just releasing the off chain mode, which is free to play. So um, in the on chain mode, you will post an entry fee in Ether or Luna for each race, and the winner takes the pot. So, kind of basic mechanics that we've seen in a lot of. Um, kind of gambling type games or, or even a lot of blockchain kind of games where people are, are staking um, and then taking the taking the pot. So there we go, pretty simple. Um, nothing terribly <laughs> exciting in some ways, but in other ways kind of in, really interesting and certainly provides more utility for your axes. Um, and obviously I guess most Axie Infinity players probably not really bothered about staking Ether or, Ether or Loon, Luna um, to try and win some more. You'd have to think a lot more about... Um, Making your stats good. Did you have a good uh, yeah, thinking about how this game actually works, which I am not thinking about. Uh, but I think it's just interesting from a very basic level. Um, this is what blockchain games allow, and certainly for something like um, uh, Crypto Kitties, where there I don't know how many of them are actually going to be finished, but there were at one point over forty games being developed, um, games or experiences being developed using uh, the Crypto Kitties um, in some sort of a meaningful sense. So actually, that. That is now known. They are all known as the Kittyverse, and that's the official title given them, given to them by the developer of of Crypto Kitties. So quite a powerful mechanic when you have like a big hit game like Crypto Kitties, uh, that that you can kind of people can create kind of it's almost like modding in a way, um, but modding without the need for permission. Uh, 
So uh, that's one of the cool things about blockchain games. Um, thanks for watching the video. So this is Blockchain Gaming World, where I do videos about blockchain games uh, and talk about what's interesting about this new field. So if you're into that kind of stuff, please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, don't forget to put any comments in the boxes below. That's cool. Um, and also, um, yeah, come back uh, and uh, see what we're doing videos about later on. But thanks for watching this one and hope to see you again soon.